there's something special about Newport. You know, everybody on the boat wanted to come to Newport, you know, and that's just the kind of city uh, that it is. It's really humbling to, 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 to come in and, and, and see all the support, uh, you know, because we get really wrapped up in our own little world and we forget, you know, how many people, you know, follow every day, you know, and are, are, are living this adventure right along with us. So it, it's a pretty great experience. You know, I grew up in Hawaii, so, um, so that's pretty far away from Rhode Island, but um, Rhode Island really does feel like a second home to me. You know, when we did the last race, we really didn't know what we didn't know, and we went into it kind of eyes wide open with no real expectations. I think the first time um, we did it, we knew it was going to be really physically challenging, and we prepared for that. Um, but what we underestimated was the mental challenge that's involved in pushing this hard um, for that long and trying to, uh, you know, lead a team and and, op and perform at a high level. That's a um, takes a lot of mental stamina, and it's it, there's no no mental gym that you can go to to train your mind to be ready for that. You know, based on what we'd learned, we'd kind of recalibrated our expectations and uh, moved the goalposts a little bit. And, um, you know, we were just starting from a much, a, a much better place. And, uh, you know, we put together a, a very competitive team with a lot of race winning talent. And uh, that was our intention, certainly, when we uh, cast off the dock lines in Spain. But, um, you know, based on some situations you know beyond our control that's not where we sit today um, but that doesn't mean that we haven't you know been one of the most consistent teams of the race and that's what we'll you know continue to try to be between here and the finish uh, you know every leg that we've finished we've been on the podium and every leg we haven't finished we've been in a podium position when we've had to stop so um, so we're quite proud of that and hopefully we can continue that all the way uh, to the finish in the Hague you know we have our good days and our bad days certainly but um, you know as a whole we're, we're, we're a very strong unit. I don't know that any other team, you know, could have dealt with everything that we've dealt with and still be in the position that we're in. The thing I'm probably most proud of in this campaign is the people that we have around us. And I really believe that that's the biggest difference in these teams is, um, is the characters that you bring. I think once you get to this level, everybody is a really talented sailor. Um, but the difference is, uh, you know, attitude and work ethic and some of those things you can't teach. So um, we really prioritize trying to build the right team. Um, and, and that's proven uh, to be really valuable, particularly during some of the adversity that we face this race. You, know, you look at where we are in the standings, and that's not necessarily where we'd like to be, um, but you know, the sustainability goal is still very much achievable. Over the course of this race, we, we, we get to make a lot of choices, and I think um, there's always a sustainable choice and a nonchalant choice, and I think we focus really hard on trying to make the, you know, the correct sustainable choice for ourselves and for our team. Sustainability is really at the core of everything we do, and um, you know one of our stated goals, you know, um, you know, publicly but also internally within the team, is to be the most sustainable team not only to you know in this edition but that's ever done the Volvo Ocean Race. It's been our collective dream to do this race for I don't know, as long as I can remember. Um, so, you know, when you have a dream and it seems so far fetched, um, <laughs> sometimes it's a little bit daunting to try to chase that dream, but. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know, you know, maybe it's the fact that we're just crazy enough to think that we could do something that most people told us we couldn't. But, um, but uh, it was, um, yeah, an incredible journey and uh, a really challenging process. And um, I think to get here and to be here in Newport and be the home team and to be doing well, um, it just, you know, everything that we've gone through to get to this point makes it that much more rewarding.